today, as uh, Director Pack uh, explained, I'm going to give you some of the understandings about of Korea and Korean economy, and also the, I'm going to touch on some brief you know, presentation regarding the free trade agreements between the United States and Korea, and also uh, we are much on the, the business field rather than academic side. So I'm going to give you some examples. What is the, you know, the benefit from the you know, FTA to both sides? And also, we're also in charge of the inbound uh, foreign direct investment into Korea, as well as we are also helping the Korean companies go to overseas to secure the sustainability of our economy. So uh, to save our time, so I'm going to stick to my the, you know, presentation. So guess what? Uh, how much is the global GDP? Anyone has some ideas? $63 trillion. So this is huge market. And also, of course, United States. What is the GDP for United States then? Yeah, yeah, recently, you know, almost 15 trillion, 14 to 15 trillion dollars. That means that uh, you occupy, occupy 25 world GDP, in other words. So, but where is another, you know, 25% world money located in Asia, especially in North Asia? So, mostly, you know, uh, Korea, Japan, and China. And this market has some, some characteristics to differentiate from the, that of the United States. So it's great test market, and uh, comparatively, labor cost is lower than the United States and the European Union, but very much, you know, sophisticated, high, you know, technology industry we have. So Korea, as you know, the located between uh, Japan and China, and also in the center of you know East Asia, and but they happen to be divided in two. Uh, but uh, this is the location of Korea, and has beautiful mountains, some lake with uh, our you know the historic relics and palace, some the Namsan mountain in the center of Seoul, and some rivers. But uh, this showing the. Our shape of our land is kind of a rabbit. And this is the current you know, city of Seoul, Poros. It's a very dense you know, city. And just to give you some of the outlook of the, our economy, and as I told you, the, our nation is so small, and land-wise, world ranking is you know, over 100. But uh, population-wise, uh, we are most almost 50 million, and our economy just passed at $1 trillion. And also GDP per capita also just passed at 20,000. And our trade volume is very important, actually. And last year, the, we marked the, the first, very first, you know, that of the $1 trillion. So exportation-wise, uh, 500 billion more than that. And it's impossible, so very balanced. And foreign reserve side, uh, we have some $300 billion. And inflation on uh, employment rate is very you know, low. So we are maintaining very you know, sound and healthy economy in the world. So I'm going to give you some, you know, the crisis we are facing, global crisis. And it started from the you know, 2008, as you know. And so when you compare the other, you know, the major OECD countries, and all the OECD countries shows that the negative growth, but uh, Korea achieved the positive growth. is uh, uh, give us some the more meaningful cost that uh, we had a similar crisis back to, you know, the end of the 1997, which hit financial crisis in Asia. So we learn a lot of the lessons from you know, the past experience in this regard. So I can give you all the details of the, how we get you know, better performance compared to other countries. But uh, this is the, the, some the statistics. And this is mostly you know, the most Korean company made a great performance in the due course of the economic crisis nowadays. 
So these are the sim samples of the you know, Fortune 500 companies like uh, Samsung recently you know, ranked mid-20s in the world and also the other companies follow. So what kind of the, you know, the key achievement, achievement uh, Korea did in the past? And, and the strengths actually we are quite leading the world in these areas, some manufacturing areas like uh, semiconductors, shipbuilding, and also we have very you know, strong the infrastructures for the uh, broadband and IT base. And also some information technologies, scientific infrastructure is very strong. And also some industry areas like automotives and so on. So this is another, you know, the uh, uh, characteristics Korea has recently. We have some the 3% of our total GDP goes to R&D. So it back up some our strong, the, you know, competitiveness of our manufacturing industry in Korea. Uh, of course, the parents and uh, what is the research is? So we have, you know, catch up with the major, you know, the countries in terms of the numbers of the parent registered. It's uh, growing very rapidly. It means that uh, we put a lot of the R&Ds in, not only to academy, but also for the industry as well. So this is some of the industrial, the areas which we are leading in the world, some steel, shipbuilding, automobile, and this is the uh, uh, world tallest building in Dubai, which was constructed by the Samsung. So we have so also very strong in the engineering construction side, semiconductor and display. So we are leading all display. You have a lot of Samsung TVs, right? And LG. So in the past, I think you learned some case studies between the Samsung and Sony. So Sony recently, you know, announced that a lot of the, you know, the, the uh, deficits from their, you know, uh, performance last year. But uh, Samsung recorded, you know, record high performance at the same period over the past one year. It's in the past, we Samsung benchmark and uh, you know brought in their technology into Korea. But now the, you know, Sony is learning from Samsung. So chemical, and as another interesting area is Korean the cultural streams. Recently, K-pop, not in the United States that much, but recently it hit, you know, the uh, Europe, especially in Paris, and also some other, you know, Asian countries. So all these singers bring the lot of attention. So I don't know, you know, some of you also know K-pop. Anyone knows about K-pop? You also hit on the YouTube that you will get a lot of you know, stories about K-pop. So I'm gonna talk about some of the foreign direct investment into Korea. And this Invest Korea is one of division of Kotra. So I'm trying to say that, you know, business environments, you know, in Korea. So our governments actually, as I told you back to, you know, end of 1997, so Korea, you know, experience you know the financial crisis. Since then, uh, Korean government decided to open all the almost more than 97 percent of domestic market for foreign uh, companies. So since then, the, the we established the Invest Korea Inside Kotra to attract more foreign company to do business in Korea. Since then, we're trying to build some more the business friendly infrastructures for foreign companies to do the better business in Korea compared to other countries. So in, according to the, you know, the, this report, and World Bank saying that Korea is number three in Asian countries to do business in uh, Asia, and six in G20 countries. And some, you know, the, our friends, and especially the John Oka came to LA and to deliver, you know, how the Macquarie made a great success story in Korea to invest in the infrastructure business. And this is some, the, you know, statements from the, the foreign CEOs who is working in Korea currently. And what, why the, the, we surveyed the 
some foreign companies which is doing business in Korea. So this gave us some of the 70 you know, factors why they decided to do business in Korea. Absolutely, location is very important, right? So, so as I told you, the United States occupies 25% of the world GDP. The European Union is very equivalent, equivalent. And what is the, the other areas? As I told you, the East Asia, especially the Asia. But difference is, Asia is fast growing market in the world for the futures. That's why the your presidents, Obama, emphasized the importance of the exportation. So what is that the growing market for the future for United States? Domestic market only? That is consumption-oriented economy structure. Is it good enough for United States to take another 100 years growth? Uh, where you can get the job creation. So this is that, so the Korea also, you know, so the, that's why the, you know, both those countries take initiatives to discuss about free trade agreements because for United States, you, United, the companies, U.S. companies should take some strong, you know, grounds in Asia somewhere. So who's going to be partners? Who, who, which country can be much supplement and also can work together? So that's why they really said, but strategic location is very important. So for example, from Seoul, you can fly to China, uh, most part of China and Japan within two hours flying time, right? So it's very close. It's just the distance like, you know, the uh, LA and uh, San Francisco. It's so, you know, so that is important. And as human resources, what Korea has, only human resources. We don't have that much natural resources like United States and other countries. So we are very, you know, deliberate and the diligent and also our the human resources is very, very, you know, the the attractive for the foreign companies. Other, you know, scientific infrastructures and also logistics so it's very important nowadays. So especially, you know, the LA here, right? You have the LAX. And nearby, you have the portable LA and a portable Long Beach, which is that logistic hub between the North America and the Asia and other countries, right? So logistic is very important to enhance the, all the competitiveness of your industries. So some quick decision making. This is so important. How can you differentiate the, the performance of the, your dish, the C executives of the large companies? Duke in the, you know, during the economic crisis. So this is characterized the big difference between the our executives and the Japanese executives. So we can take a lot of examples, like Hyundai Motors. Right here, their, you know, before crisis, their market share just roughly 4%. Now, more than 10%. They almost catch up with the world number one dual motors. Dual you know, has the different strategies to build their own supply chain. It's more close, you know, these supply chain management. They need to be very unique and deliberate for them. But anyway, so to change after they have some crisis from the earthquake or economic crisis, they take a long time to re arrange all the supply chain. But the Korean the management take very quick decision. Of course, it also based on the, you know, this, uh, the difference of the uh, governance structures of the group companies, but anyway. And also the green growth. Recently, uh, I attended and working with the Brookings Institute. They just initiated Global City initiatives. And so what is that the next, you know, the growth factors for United States? They indicated three factors. Number one, exportation. Number two, low carbon industry for the future. Number three, innovation. So this is a very important the moment. And Korea, as you remember, when we hosted the G20 summit and our president announced that the low carbon green growth strategies, I'm gonna explain later. 
and a sophisticated domestic market, how Samsung can develop and can take uh, some of the initial market to take off for global market. Because of the, you know, very, we have very sophisticated, you know, the technology savvy, the consumers we have. So these elements, they are very important. So, of course, the education. So many Koreans are here, Korean students in the United States, third largest, and even in China. China, Koreans are the number one, you know, the, the groups of the, you know, students learning in China. And also, so I have to emphasize, you know, some industry, the, especially for the information and te telecommunication industries. And, uh, based on this, you know, industries, this is a some kind of the partnership between the Korean United States. Uh, back to like the early 90s, before early 90s, Korean the telecommunications or infrastructure for the like uh, some wireless and so on, we are so behind. It's almost impossible to catch up with advanced countries. But uh, fortunately, we found a good partners. That is the Qualcomm. You know the Qualcomm, right? Based in San Diego. So Qualcomm at the time is they just you know created created a new technologies called the CDMA, called the Division Multi Access Technologies, which can replace with the GSM, which is driven by the European uh, telecommunication companies. But uh, Qualcomm couldn't find the good partners to commercialize this new technology into the industry. So they came to Korea and we make uh, some partnership. Finally, we made a success. That's why Qualcomm as of today is a world leader in you know, CDMA and also mobile industry, especially the nowadays 4G. How many of you have 4G you know, smartphone? Right? So that is all based on that. So based on that kind of partnership, we created the number one infrastructure for the IT. That's why we can get like Samsung or other all the major IT companies in the world. So infrastructures, government efficiency has fluctuated actually. But uh, we're trying to enhance our, you know, business friendly policies and uh, deploying the good, you know, the uh, enforcements of the like IP and so on to uh, protect all the high tech companies to differentiate from that of China. So many US companies, our friends are afraid of doing business in China, but uh, that is the key point. Low carbon is important and we are investing a lot of money to support industry. So we're trying to also international collaboration to do smart grid projects or EV car projects. And so this is one of the examples. The 2009, with my CEO, I, we visited the G, headquarters of GM in Michigan. So uh, before they split good GM, bad GM, so uh, cause that, uh, you know, for GM, supply chain management or, so, uh, you know, OEM partners, it's very important to, you know, build, restructuring the, all the next model. So the GM at the time suggests us that, you know, they're going to take on small two projects with Korea. One is that the small car, cause that, uh, you know, the, our, you know, the gas, price is so high nowadays, right? So most of the US automakers stick to large scale cars rather than small scale cars, which is very economic, you know, fuel efficiency. So the, unfortunately, GM has the, some, they took over some, you know, operation in Korea called Dale Motors. Dale Motors has that very strong, the small car, you know, the solutions for GM. So GM trying to do more with uh, GM Deo. Currently they are, you know, Chev Chevrolet. And cause that the two increase their sales of the GM cars in the world, not only state and overseas, like, uh, you know, Latin or other Asian growing market. So they have to do something. So that's why they, they suggest, so there is a partnership with internal GM. 
but also they would like to do some EV car development, electric vehicles. So, so LG Chemical has, is leading you know, the lithium ion battery manufacturing. Without that kind of battery, how can you, uh, you manufacture that kind of the efficient EV car? So they ask us to you know, invest in you know, the Michigan to build factories. That's why the President Obama also attended you know, groundbreaking ceremony at the time. So this is kind of the, you know, intra-industry collaborations. Uh, so we have very sophisticated market. So this is the examples. And some view from BCG, Deloitte, and so on. I just took very good numbers. Some other bad numbers I had, but uh, you know. It's. So uh, Korea was, you know, we are looking for next, you know, growth model. So the government decided you have to understand the difference, uh, role of the governments of each countries. Korea is a well on the government driven economic growth, and the United States. Well, on as you as you know, right? It's a big difference of the government role. So still, the Korean government plays significant role to, you know, assist at the new industries. So the government takes some initiative to support the industry by uh, supporting some of the financial R and D finance. This is the areas we are focusing for the next, you know, generation to grow. So this is the another trend of the industry. So this is open innovation. As you know, the, it's no more available internally, right? It's also success, kind of success model of the Silicon Valley. So the, mostly the leading industrial enterprises nowadays, they are looking for the external the partners. So we adopted this concept, and so we launched global partnering Program. So we trying to find out some of the global U.S. company to work with uh, Korean, the, you know, solution provider in various areas. So like a joint R&D, even outsourcing, or new developments, or even M&A, and so on. So it is conducted by the Cotra itself, backed up by the you know Ministry of Industry, and this is some of examples of the. The company is located here in Southern California, and we have a similar program with the Qualcomm, Avery Denison, uh, GE, and now we are working with the Dow and many other companies. So this is another success story from Southern California to do successful business in you know uh, in Korea. So we do also provide a lot of the incentives to attracts foreign companies to be in Korea, so like a tax benefit. We didn't indicate some of the you know, cash grant, even we provide some cash grants and so on. Cross FTA. I think, yeah, already you, you know, yeah, you understand when, when the Cross FTA in effect, in effect, when was that? That's just the March of 15 of this year, right? Just uh, less than the one month. So, but it took a long time to negotiate and finalize and was ratified at with, by the each, you know, Congress. And finally, you know, the full effects and last month, in the middle of last month. It's, as for the United States, as you know, the, as a single country FTA after NAFTA, this is the biggest, you know, FTA. And it's a very more important FTA because, as I explained to you, so U.S. companies should do more, you know, business in Asia. So this is going to facilitate that kind of the U.S. companies to do more exportation while doing business in Korea and Asian countries. So Korea actually, our the the trade is like one trillion dollars. Our GDP. It's similar, just a slight over one trillion dollars. It means almost our total GDP. Actually, statistically, our the ex 
export contribution to GDP just over 52%. So what is that the US export contribution, how many percent of GDP contribution? Anyone knows about it? Just the 13, 13%. So for Korea, in other words, open market and also trade is so important for our economic growth. So, so we try to, you know, actively involve in the, you know, the multi-country, multi-level, uh, the, the FTA through the you know, WTO and Doha round. But as you know, the Doha, after Doha round, we couldn't move forward at all. So many countries try to do some of the bilateral uh, free trade agreements. So we conducted, actually since then, we conducted to negotiate with uh, concurrently many different kind of the bilateral free trade agreement. So, so this is that, uh, you know, the, 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 our, the Korea has that uh, free trade agreement with those countries in effect already. And EU last uh, year, the 1st of July in effective, and also United States last month in effective. So, so we have some of the, uh, Korea, Korea has that almost the, the two thirds of the world market through FTA. Especially, we got some of the first Asian country to have the FTA with EU and the biggest, you know, market of that is the United States. And also, most important thing is this: this is on agenda triangle. Of course, the U.S. government is pushing forward for the TPP. That is the, the nine the member countries are working on. But because of the election, it is, looks like uh, to be delayed to, for the negotiation. But also, the Korea is initiated the study of FTA with China and also undergoing with Japan. So the, our government policy is to go, going for, move forward more the open policies. And also, fortunately, today, there was an announcement of the parliament election. So ruling part, party got the majority. They maintain the majority, so I think uh, the opposite party is trying to renegotiate this FT with the United States, but we do not expect that much. So, but uh, technically, for the you know, F Coros FT is kind of the very comprehensive trade practice, like uh, similar to NAFTA. So it includes not only you know trade barrier elimination, but also more opening of the other different markets, including service and government market. So for the tariff side, actually, it's much favorable to the United States. Of course, that the Korea's average, you know, the tariff, import tariff, comes to 11%. But the United States, already you lower the you know, tariff, that's only 3.7%. Uh, so in other words, yeah, US company get better more competitiveness to get into Korean market. So, but, and also the, the, the benefit for US economy, you know, is gonna contribute at least 10 to $11 billion that, you know, I just checked, you know, the, how much job creation for this. So according to your government, it indicates 70,000 new jobs will be created from this FTA to United States. So this is another benefit, of course, for consumer get, you know, with better price, you can get more quality, quality products and services. So like, uh, you know, I just met, you know, CEO of the Sunkist here. He's so happy, 50% import ta, import duty into Korea from California orange. So it will be eliminated seasonally, and also Napa Valley wines. You know how much import duty in Korea? Already, you know, EU is the already FTA effect, right? So that's 15%. Now you can compete with Bordeaux wine and Napa Valley wine on the same round. So this is some indication. And the major exportation like uh, almond, that's gonna be almost 30% uh, import duty will be eliminated immediately from California. So the trade figures between the United States and Korea, Korea is the number seven trading partner for the United States, 
and our trade volume comes to $100 billion. See, it's increasing, you know, rap rapidly. And also, U.S. imports from Korea, $56 billion, and export is like $43 billion. It means Korea enjoying the like $2 billion trade surplus, but I didn't indicate here for the service trade, right? So how much you United States get uh, some the surplus with uh, Korea, you think? Almost the same amount, like a $3 billion surplus U.S. get from Korea. So overall, you know, the current account base is very, you know, balanced, you know, trade between the United States and Korea. And especially the LA custom districts areas, so number three trading partner, I mean the Korea is number three trading partners and our trade volumes like almost near to 30 billion. And Korea is number one trading partners among the custom district. It the indicates a lot because that here in Southern California, we surveyed the numbers of Korean company investing into Southern California. So to compute the past two years ago, Two years ago, it just uh, our number just indicated like 180 companies, but the last year we surveyed recently shows that the more than 300 companies, are, you know, operate here in Southern California. We expect, and also we got some of the trends. Of course, that we receive a lot of inquiry from Korean companies, and they trying to come to base in LA or Southern California and covering the, not only the North American market, but also Latin American market. So, so we think that this kind of trends will be increased rapidly. So recently, the, our government announced that the statistics of the trade between United States and Korea. So our export to United States last month, which is the meaningful month with the FTA in effect. So almost uh, uh, near to 30% increase exportation from Korea to United States. I think, you know, vice versa. So other industries, does not only trade, service industry, very important, as I told you, logistics. So when you say the trade volume, it means that actually physically it should be delivered, right? Through the port or airport, right? So those industries like processing centers, even like the uh, some case, for example, then it's setting up some more distribution centers to ship more oranges to Korea. And also you need to some the more bottling the you know, facilities for the California wine, not only here, but also in Korea as well. So this kind of the logistics areas, and also the apparel, textile industry is very critical to contribute to some job creation and food, and also, of course, entertainment industries. So we open, open more the you know, screen quarters to US entertainment countries, companies, and uh, film, software, music, videos, uh, everywhere. And this, this is some of the key areas, tariff elimination. So this area is very top five, you know, exporting products and products from United States to Korea. So our duties, as you see, very high. It's going to be eliminated, you know, immediately, or over three years program or five years program. This is the comparison between. So and also, in addition to that, the government market also, you know, opening to United States company to Korea or vice versa, and the threshold when you. Governments, when the governments buy, there is some the total amounts they are going to buy. So in the case, like the United States, the Korean company can be, can participate in the over $190,000 bidding, but it's low to the uh, $100,000. So it means that the more opportunities, and also reference in the case, cannot be done by the each government. So it means that much easier for, you know, US company to get into Korean government procure market, vice versa. And FDI, absolutely, you know. So as you know, the trims uh, under the WTO, so 
trade related investments or such investment from Korea to United States and US to Korea will be increased rapidly, we are thinking. So the, the more Korean company to do business in United States, like as you know, the, the market share increase of the Hyundai or Kia Motors means, what, do, what does it mean? They need to setting up some the factory here. So that's actually the Kia Motors set up some factory in Georgia. And not only the, the Kia factories, their first vendors, second vendors should be come together. So there are already 30, more than 30 companies, first vendor, the manufacturers located in the nearby in Georgia. So it contributes regional economy, very you know, significant country. So this is very important areas you think about it. And that's why to support this benefit to business communities. So my office setting up, set up some of the FTA help desk. So we trying to get a lot of the you know, questions and you know, preparation and guide and mentoring or consulting. So we provide you know, the, all these areas to the, the US customers or Korean companies. So Kotra itself. Now the, we are celebrating 50 years anniversary, not only in Korea at the headquarters, but also my office here in LA also, we are, I'm celebrating 50 years in this year. So what we are doing, we was uh, established back to 1962. This year is very meaningful for Korea. The first five year economic plan introduced at the same. But the uh, economic plans included my, the, the establishment of the Kotra. So of course at, at that time, Korean economy is almost nothing after you know, devastation of the Korean War, right? So we need to build more you know, our industry, but how? Domestic market is not enough, so we need to find out some of the, you know, the growth market. So that's why we were established and we placed some significant roles by, you know, in 80s, 90s, and now. So now, as I told you, the, we recorded more than, you know, one trillion dollars trade volumes. And, but back to 1964, uh, end of uh, November 30, designated as Korea Export Day to celebrate $100 million exportation. Now we have some of the more than five hundred billion dollars, you know, exportation. So we have some of the 10,000 fold increase from that point. So we contributed, you know, for Korean companies to export. Actually, that is the key function of the Kotra. And we are there under the ministry. So we are, have some of the trade division, investment division, and Recently, we added one more division, Contact Korea means, you know, we focus on human resources like yourself. So we'd like to, you know, invite you to Korea or find the quality, quality jobs for like uh, some global Korean companies. So we added that function. So we have some of the 111 offices all the world. And for the trade, we, they uh, provide a lot of different kind of the services to the U.S. exporters and also Korean exporters. And also uh, investment side, we trying to consult a lot of the U.S. companies to uh, find the business opportunities and uh, setting up their operation in Korea. And also when they have some the difficulties, then we have some the home doctor service means that when you get uh, some grievance and we assign the home doctors to take care of every matters. So we have some the, a very, you know, well-prepared ombudsman service, which is uh, honored by the uh, UN organization as well. So many other countries have benchmarked our system in this case. So Contact Korea, we trying to match make the talent peoples with the, you know, the, the business companies. So we do, provide a lot of the interview, qualification, verification, visa, and, and also aftercare. So this is news program we are launching. 
And also here in Torrens, I have another, another facility. This is very unique to help the Korean company to do business here in the United States. So we have so the five incubating centers that we provide different kind of service like we're trying to settle down. We're trying to help them to settle down here to set up some new office, hire new people, understand the, all the tax, labor issues, whatever, right? And so we're trying to uh, you know, market their products and services in these areas to, for them to grow. Then when we help them one or two years, we spin off them so they can grow by themselves. So this is a very unique program. We, our government is helping Korean company to do the local you know, industry, local economy. So we recently also another functions, which is called IP desk. So nowadays, uh, as you know, Apple and Samsung are fighting a lot of IP issues in many other countries. So, but the, for the small and medium-sized companies, they don't have that kind of internal capability to prepare, to protect their you know, IP. So that's why they will set up some new system. So this is what we are doing. This is some of the indication of what events we are organizing here in the United States and Korea.